Hello and welcome to this quick video tutorial on how to combine Tabletop Simulator and Visual Studio Code to improve your script writing and management within Tabletop Simulator. This is based on a video tutorial on YouTube by user Joshmo554 titled Tabletop Simulator Scripting Class. He has a tabletop scripting mod in the Steam Workshop called TTS Scripting. And as you can see, this is an example based off of that mod. So be sure to go download it and watch this video and give him a like. Uh, okay, so why are we doing this? Well, part of the problem is modding within Tabletop Simulator is a little finicky. So going into modding, going to scripting, you get the Lua interface here. And as you can see, I've got code in here, but it's not color coded. It's not easy to read as a lot of IDEs uh, at least modern IDEs today, give you that ability to quickly see your code and the different elements and properties within. It's also not exactly the easiest to click around and navigate. There we go. So see, you know, it doesn't necessarily grab the line that you think you should be at, and that can cause problems. So let's go ahead and see how we can connect these two applications together for a better process. Uh, first of all, Here's Visual Studio Code. If you don't have it, highly recommend you go and download it. It is from Microsoft, it is free, and the community has been around for years and has built a ton of extensions onto Visual Studio. And that's what we're gonna talk about in this instance. If you go into, uh, once you install Visual Studio, you go into the extensions section and you can type in tabletop and your results are two IDEs or two extensions that you can include. I'm going to talk about the Tabletop Simulator Lua extension today. This is by Rolando Starr, and while I don't know the guy, I would highly recommend that you go to his repository, read through the instructions on this extension, and if you like what you see, give him a small donation because he definitely deserves it for the hard work he's done to this. Uh, down below, you can kind of see what... Uh, this extension can do tells you some of the features tells you how to install it and some of how to, how to use it and i will show you how to kind of use it right here so in this instance uh, i'm going to go ahead and install it. it takes about that long to install and i am done so now what you want to do is you want to make sure you've got a game or some sort of training example in this case up in tabletop simulator which is what i do have I'm going to come over here and do a control alt L and it's going to tell me get Lua scripts from the game. So it's going to be looking at whatever active game you have loaded into tabletop simulator and pull the scripts that you may have already had, or at least the um, global one so that you can start editing right away. Now, if you're already working in visual studio, you want to make sure that you are close. You've closed everything so that you don't accidentally overwrite anything you're already working on. So you get the scripts, and the first thing it does is pull in global-1.lua, uh, which is the global code that you can see when you go to modding and scripting under global here. So you can see meeple ID equals 230538. And if I go back to this, you can see meeple ID equals 230538. And you can see your variables, your values, are actually color-coded. So it's easy to quickly see values within the code. So there's, there's the meeple ID, there is my hello world, which is a value, and then you can see some of the values down below in my code. So one of the things I wanna do is wanna edit this meeple right here. So if I right click on it, go to scripting, go to scripting editor, notice the GUID is um, 230538, like in my global instructions, but in this case, I'm gonna wanna edit a, just the meeple code itself. So scripting editor, Go back here, and now I'm in Visual Studio, and you can see it open a new tab, Meeple, with the GUID in it, and you know I'm working with the code with that. So I want to make a quick edit. I want to, I have a little function here that when you hit R, uh, it will take the Meeple and rotate it and lay it down flat, which you can't do in, in Tabletop Simulator alone. So in this case, I'll just type in print, open parentheses, open quotes, and lay down meeple. In this case, uh, it automatically closes the quotes, closes the parentheses, which saves time, uh, reduces errors that you might have forgotten while you were typing, and it will, again, 
color code it. So my value for print is lay down meeple. So whenever I hit R to lay down that meeple, it'll print this in the chat window. So now that I've done that, um, so like I said before, I loaded it with Control Alt L, and I'm going to save this back into the game. And when I do that, it'll reset the state. You will see the the um, um, tabletop simulator in the background update. So Control Alt S, and there we are. Loading is complete. It has reset my state in the game, and I can go in and test. So I'll scroll in here, or zoom in, and you can see my meeple. I'm hovering over it. I hit R. And it says, lay down meeple. So all of my code just updated that I had worked on in Visual Studio. So now it'll just say lay down meeple every single time. So I hope this helps. Uh, make sure you read through the instructions on the extension in Visual Studio because it is pretty powerful. And I just scratched the surface on this video. I hope you like it and I wish you have a good day.